Big boy pants are engaged for this Libby Bapper triple header, starting off with a brass boulders. One cube, four connections, and a handful of portal surfaces. Piece of cake. Hard difficulty, seven out of 10 for experienced players, not for novices. This map requires logical thinking and planning ahead. Using just trial and error or trying to brute force it without thinking it through is likely to result in frustration. No cube tossing, no ninja skills, no fast timing, no difficult moves, no glitches, no bunny hopping, no angled lasers through portals. Everything is easy to execute in the intended manner. This is an expansion and remake of Boulder's Brass. And then there are some things to note. That crouching stops you from bouncing on blue gel. If you jump on blue gel, the second bounce is higher. The cube is aimed while on a light bridge, and then the light bridge is removed from beneath it. The cube falls and the aim is skewed. It is not intended for the cube to maintain its aim if the light bridge is removed from beneath it. The lower area noted with the life preserver signage and pedestal button marked with the same area, uh, sorry, same, are for anti-trapping and not intended for the intended solution. The life preserver pedestal button does a full reset, washing gel and respawning the cube. Huge thanks to Narcodes and Mike for playtesting and advice. And he finishes off by saying, thank you and enjoy. All right then, let's go with Brass Boulders. And I will be completely honest, I'm not sure if I remember the original. I'm pretty sure I probably played it. But I don't really remember a lot about it. So I think it's going to be wise here for a start. Just to spend a bit of time looking over everything. Getting acquainted with the map. And seeing what we can see. So at the moment we have water. Uh, we can do things and stuff with the water. The bars on the portal surfaces allow the player to block cubes when the bridge is removed. From under an A and cube, the cube drops. And the aim is skewed. Interesting that Libby felt that uh, you need to put in these little bits and pieces here. So they're the bars then. I guess that uh, it's meant we can walk through those ourselves, but we can't take the cube through with us. Okay. Let us go over to here. It looks like we have a toggle system here to which we can move this panel and now we can get this red cube. Fantastic. Alright, so we know that this cube then is going to respawn. We know that much. Uh, get on this. I'm running on my machine as well as playing it here. Oh boy. My big bubble pants are on. What's going on, Atom? Right, so, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Can't take the cube through, but I can walk through there myself. Now, not a lot we can do here, I don't believe. I was thinking about, I could potentially use the cube to jump over to there, and then the cube will fall down to the bottom. So, certainly try that. 
Because the only other thing we could do would be to take the cube over to there, but we can't do anything with that at the moment, so. And then that starts our cube doing that again. There is our full reset button, should we need it. Okay, now that has disabled. That's I'm thinking the bridge is going to be the most useful item here. Let's use the bridge over here to walk here. And from here. This is quite interesting. We can do two things from here. We could do that. Or we could do that. Now. Nice little areas here. And the problem with what we've done here is we would have to now return over there, I think, and do a full reset from here. So we're going to need to use the light bridge before we use the laser. It seems in this instance. Let's go and reset what we have done. I think, personally though, Atom, um, in my own opinion, well, in my own opinion, I think once you get to a certain point with map making, if you're making, like, more advanced maps, then I kind of feel sometimes that you are... Um, you start opening yourself up to more kind of niche um, like a niche dynamic of, of people almost does that make sense so when you start like getting into like harder maps you're gonna lose all the interest of like the normal kind of front page crew and you are kind of like the only people who are genuinely going to play like play your puzzles are like the more advanced hardcore fans. It's uh, my opinion anyway. Also Fumbly, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. So it's, it's an unfortunate thing that although, you know, uh, you, uh, although a map maker is like a very good map maker, they end up becoming quite niche in the fact that um, and they, they end up becoming quite niche and a lot of their a lot of their like better and, and like pieces of art almost like their masterpieces don't get recognised by the community be patient while we clean the place Okay, so we we definitely need to bring the cube over here, don't we? That's a given. Would it have made a difference if I'd have turned that over to there? I don't think so. Yeah, then we just return back to this, don't we? 
Okay. So... We may be at our first sticking point. Uh, it's the final boss in my current queue, yes. It certainly is. Crazy! What's going on? Welcome, welcome. It's moving that panel there. Does that do anything different, I wonder? Please hold the line while we try to connect you. The person you are calling knows you are waiting. So, how can we, how do we get the cube? That is the million dollar pound question. Get the cube. Not like that. Uh, this is the start of a Libby Bapper triple header. Uh, crazy. This is Brass Boulders. This is a 7 out of 10. This is get your big boy pants on sort of stuff. If it would do, I don't even get no. If I can get through this way, no, because there's a gap there. So yeah, that was a big waste of time. All right. So um, I believe getting the cube is the is the thing to do. Um, but how we get the cube is the problem we face. Uh, it's not the last one of my queue, no. I think I'm down to like the last four or five. Pretty sure this isn't it. No, that's what Mika would say, Adam. <laughs> What's going on, Mika? Hope you're well, buddy. Ignore what we just did. Let's uh, go and get this cube on our person again. Now. We have to use the cube here if we want to get over here. No, we don't. That was a lie. 
we don't need to do that at all. Okay, so. Okay, we'll leave the cube there. Okay, that should allow us to do something. Yes, so we will be doing uh, Walking Dead again tomorrow night. Um, do just want to say, though, real quickly about tomorrow night's stream. Um, we may be a little late starting tomorrow because um, it's England's quarter final match in the Euros tomorrow night. So, yeah, we may be just a little tiny bit uh, later starting than 9.30. And then. So it'll, it'll probably be more like 10 o'clock when we get started. And... Ah. Oh, that was something different. Um, so yeah, we're near 10 o'clock, and that's assuming it doesn't go to, like, extra time or penalties or anything like that. So... Yas, be a little bit later. Okay, I think I can see what to do here. If I could, all right, let's put the cube. Oh, okay, let's leave the cube here for now. Point it to there, and. I haven't really seen much of the uh, the group stages, but uh, I watched the England Germany match the other. Oh, it resets that, doesn't it? Uh, that was an oversight. All right, Mika, no worries. Catch you later, buddy. Okay. Is there an angle? Maybe hit like here? So it's, it did purposely say about skewing, dropping it off a light bridge. So let's do this first. I know, Fumbly, I know. <laughs> Full reset means, uh, clearly doesn't mean to uh, get rid of your cube, you know. I've <sighs> done it again. Mm. <laughs> oh, the knock's gone crazy. Definition of crazy. It's a picture of me in the dictionary. No worries, Doctress. Hope you well there, buddy. I can do, though, is this. Now, I think I should have probably moved that over to here. Yeah, okay. So I positioned the cube wrong here, but that's right. That's, we're we're making progress, making good progress. So I need to take this cube. It actually needs to go. Ooh, not there. Do that first. Can you see that? That's the problem, isn't it? 
Because there was it specifically said in the um, map description that dropping the cube like that skews it, doesn't it? Okay. So then I do. Well then. Is that really higher than the rest of the... Well, I'll be honest, I can't actually remember what entirely I was going for there. But... Something along the lines of I could have kept that open with that portal there. Obviously, that you can, yeah, I can just see it now. That whole area is just slightly lowered to prevent that move. Well, I thought I was being big brain. So, what if I had done that though? Could potentially get back to. Right, so. I don't know if it's custom elements or if it's just um, beat the B mod uh, stuff. Alright, well, if that's doing that, that doesn't matter. We can place the cube over here. That's fine. So then we can do this, which is the whole not dropping the cube off of the light bridge thing that was mentioned in the description. Then we can go back to... Uh, hold on, I want to do this, sorry. Okay. So that's opened there. Now we can go across to here and to here. And I don't know if it makes any difference, but I can now put this cube in here. Uh, no, we can still make this work. We can still make this work. So now we move this panel across here like so. Uh, we can walk across here. I think this might be it to get in the cube in this area. Walk across here. Open... And we got ourselves a cube. We have got ourselves a cube. Okay. That allows us now to get back. So the cube is in here.
we can get back using the light bridge. I don't know if we actually need to... I'm trying to line myself up with that and line to make that laser straight. Alright, so now we can... Oh, problem. No, no problem. Okay, problem. Not a problem. Look, I just want to know, do we or do we not have a problem? Not. Can you clarify the situation, please? Ten million problems? How come Jay-Z only had to deal with 99? It's no fair. Okay, I may have got... I have jumped the gun a little bit here. In that... Whilst doing all of this, I should have moved the panel back to them. So, um... Okay, let's... We're gonna have to reset this. Let's reset. through the pole. Don't need to go through the pole at all. Okay. Again, though, haven't I? How did I get back before I had this? Maybe this is how I did it. Oh, 
Alright, so maybe I didn't make a mistake. Because I, I can go back now and set all this up. But I can't get across there because of the cube. So I had to move that there. To walk across to here. Oh, hold on. I can do something. Then... Here. Walk across, press the button, come back through. Try not to die in the process. There. Quick save. <laughs> and. Okay. Now we can get back. By using these portals. Alrighty then. Let's have a breather. Let's have a breather. All right. So, um, the laser is now connected to that permanently. Which may or may not hinder us. If there's a second cube, though, we can potentially bring it to here and point it over to there to get easy access back over there. Because from this position here, we may struggle. Um, we will struggle. Uh, well, we can always go over there and do a full reset. So, okay, let's go and see what's over here now. What we have got to do. So it's open door. We need a cube here, it seems, to step up to there. There is only one cube, though. So that could be partially problematic. See, now I'm thinking we potentially don't want the cube in there. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe what we really want... There's the cube here, pointing to there. Which the problem, the problem is, I'm not, I'm not sure where the cube wants to be. You see, we've done all that, but that doesn't really open up anything for us to do here, does it? Other than we can place some portals and do some stuff. I 
What I really like about um, open door policy is that sometimes when you go into a map and you just like see its signage, you don't instantly know like what the connection, uh, what what you need to do to get to the exit. Um, and it comes down to like good puzzle design where showing the user or the player like what they need for the exit straight off the bat can be kind of like a good um, starting ground. So they're like, they walk into the chamber, you can see the exit and it's like, right, okay, I need a laser and a cube to solve this puzzle. Whereas some maps, and I know it can't always be helped because it depends on the complexity and the size of the map, of course, but some maps you can walk into and it's like, uh, yeah, you need a, um, you need one of these, you need one of these, you need a, um, sorry, you just got like, you walk in and you've got like four or five different signages pointing to the door because the map's so big and, and vast. It's like, okay, I, I don't know what I need to do here. And it doesn't make the objective obvious. Um, does that make sense? It does in my head, but. Alright, so I'm I'm kind of thinking this ain't it. Cause we need a laser. And that would then lead me to believe that we need the cube out here pointing over here. rather than there pointing to there. We had that set up. That would be coming through there anyway. The cube would be blocking it so we could get back. Now, the issue we have is that would mean we would need to use portals for the laser. But if we could somehow get back to this position with laser laser. Uh, well, do we aim this that way and come out the portal there? No, because we need to, we definitely need to hit that, so First real question has revealed itself to us. Now you see here we have to do a full reset because now we don't have a way to change the position of the laser. So before I kind of spend a bit of time I guess to decide whether or not what I've got is right or wrong, we really need just to investigate what we've got now and be absolutely sure that there is nothing else we can do here. can't even get hmm. 
trying to think if there's a way to get any portals in place on the other side. None of these portal surfaces are exposing themselves. So, how do we get back into there? Oh, I guess once we got the bounce gel on, we can maybe fly over to here and then we can jump over into there perhaps. Given that there's a gap in that fizzler there. And then we would put a portal there. Or there. We need to put a portal there with a the light bridge. Uh, sorry, a portal there initially with bounce gel coming out of it. Swap it to the light bridge. So that means to me straight away we do need the cube on the other side. But to do that, how can we have that and the gel active at the same time? So yeah, my, my thoughts are, because like the height of this and different bits of pieces, it's all sort of like flowing into here. What we'll do is we'll, there'll be some gel, we'll get it on there, it'll fly over the top, land on there to allow us to go to the other side. Then we'll put a portal there, and... The laser, then we'll connect it to the laser again. The laser will go through there, turn on this, and then we'll quickly change back to a black portal there, which will give us gel. Oh, wait a minute, we need to do that. We need that and the light bridge. Hmm. The reason, like, like I said, well, like I said, not like I said, cause I haven't said it at all. The reason we need to get gel on this one is we need to then get enough height to bounce up to the top one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do we? Actually, there was that other panel over here, wasn't there? And that's angled. Okay, so maybe we can fly into there or, or do something there. Well, let's just think about this move again, though, because we need the laser to go through the relay to turn on the gel. So we'll have a portal there and a portal on the laser. So we, yeah, so we need to put the la either the laser through a portal, or we need to get rid of the cube. I'm just going to test some stuff here before we uh, make any more decisions. But if we did this, and then I have my portal there like that. Okay, I could do this. Oh, we can't because that's too high. Okay, so that then tells me. We need but the portals here. That tells me I need laser on here.
across the wrong way. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm glad I tested that because that's not the it's not the reaction I was hoping for. And that flies over. All right, well. Clearly, seems like I'm miles off. So, um, I think we don't have a choice here but to reset the whole puzzle. Although it seemed like progress, I don't think it was. Hmm. No progress here. So, this then takes me back to... Having that over there. thing you need to be wary of here is obviously I say obviously it's not probably not that obvious um, but it is too I don't want to do that, like that. Uh, it's the resetting of the panel make sure that panel is in the right position when as and when you need it to be this had to go here didn't it of the taking it back over to this side. What did it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, try something different. this. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the problem. Uh, that's the problem. I knew there was a reason I couldn't do that. See, that would have to be there, but then this is where I kind of feel bad because it says about not doing that. And I shall not pull. Yeah.
Yeah, and that's the whole thing about the portal being skewed when it's a light bridge, so. That's, that's not right. That is not right at all. Ah. Uh, I guess I went through the portal. Okay, well. doing this again, but do I need to put the cube here? Um. Hold on. If I put the cube... I just want to try this. If I was to put the cube... Again, that means I gotta. It means I gotta do this again with the cube. Do that. That'll be that. Guys, you saw nothing. Oh yeah, again, because I dropped the cube off the light bridge, it's all, uh, it's all a bit, uh, skewed. <laughs> should spawn, get a sponsorship with like a life insurance company or something. Alright, bring that back. That. That. I mean, this set of moves makes sense, but... It's the fact that I've got to drop the cube. Or have I? I'm going to save here because I don't want to make any more progress from this point at the moment. What if I did this? I 
That was clutch. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, what if we do this then? Because this is something different. There to there, swap the panel around into its other position. For goodness sake! <laughs> My name knock, I are bad at portal. Okay. Then I do this, this, this. Hold on, I need to go back to here. I don't remember what I did right and what. Uh, so, walked across here. Can't see that from there. So I have to go across here. See, I'm blaming these like sharp 90 degree angles, family. That's, that's what I'm. So I'm blaming it on. Have to be that. Okay. And it could be that to open that. But I don't get to see anything else. So that would mean I have to go over to here. And then to there. Then I'm kind of stuck. So, um, I don't think this is the right thing to do either. Now, when I say I'm stuck, I'm really not stuck. The point is, I can only go like backwards and forwards from this state. So that now makes me think the cube wants to be there. Round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. It's in the wrong spot, isn't it? Yep. Alright, so I'm going to do this, fly through here, do this. I'm just going to no-clip for a bit just because you've seen me do this like two million times now. And that was the wrong portal. Damn it. Should have been that to there. 
position that cube there. Through the portal here. That one goes to there. That one goes to there. That one goes to there. Cube comes over here with me. I press the button there. Take the light bridge with me. Walk across to here. Walk across to here. Make this. Leave that there. Now I need to go back. Uh, now I need to go back. So can I move the panel again now then? I think I've had this state before, haven't I? Yes. Alright, so fly through here. Go over here, go over here. Press that button there. That's going to be black portal. And then black portal. And then that portal, that portal, this portal. And then I need to get back to there, so that will be this portal, press that button over here. Then finally Should be laughing. What should have happened? Should have got this, picked up the cube from here, and walked over to here. Now, from here, I can permanently open that with use of my two portals. Now, what I think I need to do here is that fly across to here because I'm too lazy to walk. That stops me from getting a cube and getting across there now because that grating area. Was 
here. Press the button. Back over here. See, I have this, but then again, the problem is, um, I have no way to use it. I have no way to use it. So I have to come out there like that, which then means I instantly lose the portal, and then everything I've just worked for is irrelevant, because it now no longer... No longer have a portal behind the fizzler. Um, well, part one of Brass Boulders. Um, certainly living up to expectations. Um, I would say I've like come up with a lot more ideas than I thought I potentially might have come up with. Um, obviously, we have managed to get back to the starting area, but the way we'd set it up and the way we did it doesn't allow us to progress there's no way we can actually do anything on the other side so that's why we're revisiting things and I, I don't believe that is right but we will come back to it next week with a clear head and see if we can't um, make some more progress but like I thought this uh, triple header is certainly going to be something spectacular but guys thank you very much for tuning in i will be back tomorrow night like i said playing the walking dead carrying on that series but it'll be a bit later on um probably more like 10 10 30 times so uh yeah hope to see you then if not i will see you whenever you can next make the stream but uh, until then i've been knock you've been awesome take care and happy gaming